Hey guys, welcome back again. Welcome to One Minute Show. We have uh, Moshimi Gupta joining in from Gurgaon. Uh, she's traveled all across, and one reason she is here is, and one reason why I really like her profile is, you know, there, there are a lot of challenges women go through in uh, their work life, especially at corporates, and especially people, women who are in leadership roles. And uh, Moshimi has done. Uh, developed a signature program which has actually impacted uh, and influenced around 1500 plus women in corporates uh, through which they have developed self confidence and you know they have uh, believed on themselves you know much better than they were before and uh, she has uh, made their uh, leadership journey uh, more fruitful and uh, she is also a mindful coach she has done a lot of other things which i would like <laughs> to introduce but yeah ma'am this is one thing which i really liked in your profile empowering women because i've personally seen a lot of uh, women facing challenges at whatever yeah. level they are but yeah. especially when they are in leadership skills they have more challenges and if if you know i'm sure your signature uh, you know magic program uh, has done some wonders so we would like to hear more about it so maybe you can start with your quick introduction and then and we want to know you well we want to see how you do with rapid fire questions and yeah. you know did your journey go <laughs> yeah so, Right. Thank you so much, uh, Ravi. And you, you know, you've already told uh, most of uh, of what I do. So, along with uh, being a diversity specialist, which is something that I, you know, that comes uh, from the heart, I'm also a certified uh, uh, coach from ICF, an executive coach. I'm an ACC. And uh, I'm also certified in the science of workplace happiness. I am into potential realization and now on my mindfulness journey. Now, that is the work part of me. But um, I also absolutely enjoy cooking and mm. uh, I love traveling and uh, basically a movie buff. And uh, yeah, and I believe in dancing like nobody is watching you. <laughs> and when in trouble, dance it out. So that's something that uh, really, that's my mantra and that really works for me. And uh, talking about bold. Okay, so bold is, um, bold came, came to me and it came to me. That's the word that I would use. I'm just medium. Uh, at a time when I was uh, going through a very, very difficult period in my life. So my uh, husband um, was um, had was just about recovering from a very, very serious uh, uh, illness and we almost lost him to that and it had been a very very difficult journey and a particular corporate reached out to me and said that uh, we'd like you to put together a program uh, which will help women and this is going to be on women's day and the theme that year was be bold for change now mm -hmm. I said okay you know, be bold for change and at that point I was feeling anything but bold uh, business was down. It was completely at a at a you know dead end, and uh, everything that I knew as normal was not normal anymore. And here they wanted me to talk about bold and come up with a program. So one, uh, I I stayed with it for a while, and uh, you will not believe it. Bold came to me in the middle of the night. It was like a bolt of lightning. Suddenly I said, okay, now what can I do with it? B O L D, the acronym, believe in yourself, openly express yourself, love yourself first, and don't stop until you drop. And that's my bold. And um, it's a program that runs itself. I'm just a facilitator. Uh, I started, and you know, through the day, it's a day long program, there are no PPTs. It's got uh, it appeals to your five senses. So as an NLP master coach, I have used the five senses in it and just it blended in very beautifully with with coaching and presentations. Uh, the ladies learn to you know, work together in groups. They sync individual with the collective purpose of the organization. And believe me, it's magic by the end of it. And um, never have I walked away from bold without tears in my eyes and tears in their eyes. So it's a magical journey, yes, but the magic is created by the space, the safe space that we create as women. And uh, women bond together and, uh, you know, they, they work together. And yes, it's not just fun and games. We end the day 
with an action plan, an individual development plan. And we work on it till, uh, you know, for at least three months. So it is work. And that's where the leadership journey begins. Because uh, there's a word that I like to use. I don't empower women. Women mm. are empowered already. I just enable them. I enable them to believe in themselves and to openly express themselves and love themselves first, which is uh, something we don't normally do. So I just create the space. Bold does the rest. There, there might be a lot of organizations which, which do that, but there are many organizations which do not uh, see this as an importance and you know they might ignore, uh, ignore uh, doing these programs. So, and if there are women who want to get a similar program done uh, as an individual and, you know, would like to do this workshop uh, through you yeah. maybe as a group, uh, would, would you enable that too? Or it has Absolutely. to be an corporate and, you know. Not at all. Uh, because, you know, this is, uh, this is who I am. So mm -hmm. anybody, uh, it works best in a, in bold works the best in a group uh, setting. So if there are 10, 15, 20, 25, my largest group was 125 women, uh, get together, give me a shout. I'll come and facilitate it for you. And uh, we'll have a lot of fun and a lot of learnings as we go through it, uh, this journey together. And uh, I am, um, uh, you know, I have women regularly reaching out to me. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have conversations. Um, as you know, I love building on conversations. So if you ever need a safe place to, you know, just speak your heart out, give me a shout. I'm there. And uh, I listen to you because what we don't always realize is that a, a conversation is not just about two people speaking to each other. It's also about listening and yes. listening deeply and listening from a, from a place of no judgment. So uh, I think that's what makes it absolutely uh, special. And um, uh, it really doesn't matter, one woman or a group, um, mm -hmm. more than happy to you know, facilitate this for you. And uh, before we talk about this, this program is not for women only, though it was started with that. I have run a bold and called it something different but run it for men as well. It's been a gender agnostic program, a mixed program, and we've had equally uh, good results. So uh, we're, we're very inclusive here. So, you know, men feel free to reach out to me and uh, we'll do it in a mixed group as well. So next next corporate, I'm joining electrically, you know, be part of it, enroll for this. Uh, yeah, I agree with you. Even men should be aware of, you know, what are the things we shouldn't do and, you know, how we can empower and, you know, motivate women around us, uh, especially when they're in leadership roles. Uh, right. Because yeah, e equally, we need education. Like, you know, uh, some of these things are very attached to me. That's one of the reason I'm like discussing this very confidently uh, yeah. is code of conduct and, you know, sexual harassment. Some of yeah. these things uh, have to be educated uh, equally to both the parties. It's just not for women. It's just not for men. So, absolutely. Uh, Ravi, it's more about creating workplaces of equality and inclusion. Okay, uh, many times the challenges that uh, I face and uh, the team of uh, women that I work with in a particular corporate faces that mm -hmm. we enable ourselves, we work on ourselves and uh, we grow. But is the environment ready to support us? So yeah. uh, I go in uh, before my six month journey. Uh, I have a bunch of ladies who are quiet and, you know, not really that outspoken and uh, uh, it's all there. As I said, I'm just a catalyst. And when we go out there, you you uh, you are told, you know what, just do it as before. We don't want any changes. So it's very, very important for the environment, men included, to be uh, very, very, uh, let's say, co-create this journey. It's not just about the women. It's about all of us together. Uh, and when I work for the corporate, it's about it's about the larger vision. Right. We can't uh, we can't work in silos. So we can't have uh, enabled and strong women and uh, men who are uh, who just take the leadership positions for granted. Right. We need to do this together because that is what would make us really unstoppable. So that's 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 my belief. 
So moving out of corporates, <clears throat> some yeah. of these workshops are also relevant. I mean, this word of uh, fortune is with bold. I mean, uh, with favors bold. Yeah. So you know, I think this is very apt for even women who want, who are independently trying to do something. You know, starting Absolutely. up on their own business. They somehow have uh, this hesitation that can I approach this person? Can I mm -hmm. ask for their particular help? Can I do it? Log kya kehenge? You know, I, I think some of these things are still there. That self confidence has to come out, and you know, they should, you know, build this particular organization of their own, their own passion to the next level. Hmm. So, uh, log kya kehenge is not just with uh, it's not just with women. It's with men too. Yes, hmm. men. And def uh, women definitely feel it a little bit more because of the social conditioning, uh, etc., that we've been, been uh, through. But uh, my belief is that uh, vulnerability is a strength, and it takes a lot of strength to be vulnerable and ask for help. But if you're able to just cross over and uh, make that choice that you know what, I'm going to go out. I'm going to ask for help, and it's okay. What's the worst that can happen? Uh, mm. People are going to say no, but then they might say a yes as well. How will I know unless I've tried? So put yourself out there, ask for help with no expectation attached to the outcome, and you Thanks. might be surprised yourself. But do ask for help. You do not have to do this alone. Men, women, everybody, we do not have to do this alone. You, there is help out there. Go out, ask for it, and do it from a place of strength. And you know what? I want to do this. I want to change the world. Would you like to join me on that journey? So I think it's absolutely imperative to go out and ask for help. Yeah. So this this show started that way. I mean, it's just a group of friends who said, "Yes, let's do it," and then you know it started. So I agree with right. you. I think it needs that first push. Correct. And I remember you and I. I mean, I think uh, we we had been friends on Facebook, and we completely we reached out. We started a conversation, and look where we are today. Yeah, I, I like that particular part of yours conversation. So, yes. I know you've got a reason how this journey started. Yeah, you know, you're more. Uh, you know, I think you're uh, you're preaching more to start that conversation, and the conversations can you know, take you to the next level. Yes. So. Conversations, like I said, there are two parts to a conversation. There is speaking and there is listening. So, um, as a facilitator, I speak a lot. Lot. I'm a lot leadership facilitator. I take sessions. So, as a facilitator, I speak a lot, and I expect people to listen to me and, of course, ask questions. And then, as a coach, I put mm. on another hat and I listen. And I don't just listen. I listen. Listen by being fully present with my entire being, because only when you listen like that is can you build on an, you know, a true conversation. You have to pick up the little nuances. You've got to pick up the unsaid and talk about those. So that can only happen when you are really listening. So a conversation is about listening to what is being said and also what is not being said, and then building on that. So as a coach, you're, you are, um, you know, you have to be in touch with uh, who you are in order to really be able to help your coaching uh, take that journey. Because if you're not in touch with your own self, uh, you're not going to be able to do that. So I think it's, it's really, it's me about finding myself as well as uh, helping others on their journey. I also understand the coaches have to be really lively like you with that smile, with that confidence, the bubbliness and you know your Facebook profile shows a lot of uh, you know fun and liveliness around you. Yes. So I think that is the only time when people will connect with you when they listen, you know it should not be a scenario yeah inki kya sunenge yaar khud to matlab aisa lag raha hai ki life mein bahut sad hai ye humko kya batayenge that barrier you know uh, gets in front of you. Bilkul so as yeah. coaches, we are expected to be these really serious people. We are not. We are fun. Okay. We we love what we do and we do it from, you know, right from the core of our being. So it's uh, 
it just comes naturally and uh, seriously hum bhi kaato to khoon nikalta hai okay abhi bhi holy water nahi nikla hai we are normal people and uh, yes we uh, we just keep in touch with uh, we just a little bit more in touch with who we are that's the only thing but yes uh, i am uh, those who really know me very closely will tell you that i am absolutely um, i i'm a fun person but when i need to be serious i can be that too and uh, i think that's what makes uh, us real as coaches and um, yes uh, you know uh, i spent about 14 years in hyderabad and there it was uh, uh, you know whenever there would be an event uh, when the oh, coaches would get together we actually did that and uh, just to break the myth that coaches are serious people we great fun and okay not everybody might be as uh, uh, let's say positive and high energy as i am but they 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 are getting there <laughs> yeah next time we are in hyderabad definitely um, you know we we are meeting and that's for sure yes. Yes. and i want to see you dance where you know you're, you're thinking ravi nahi dekh raha but you dancing wo oh, to ravi any time okay so uh, when in trouble dance it out so uh, i love zumba and i started doing zumba when i was uh, in hyderabad and one of my most famous uh, fav- and favorite trainers are right there and uh, nice. you know uh, especially when i was going through this really really difficult time uh, with my husband in hospital and, and the, my world crashing zumba kept me sane i would find the time to go and at least uh, do one or two sessions a week because uh, that's what that would would give me that energy to kind of you know just uh, plow through and keep at it and uh, i guess that's where a lot of uh, i think i'm anchored into that dance it out you know <laughs> even uh, during these covid times you'll uh, very often find me you know jumping around and just uh, you know in my own space you can run but you can't hide right so dance it out <laughs> we have some photograph uh, on the screen so oh, can you yes. महेंद्रा and uh, we took turns in driving and we were on the road for i think about 14 days it was a life no, change no only women just the four of us so oh, uh, yeah so that's the thing no husbands and we had uh, uh, we are all married we all have children we have dogs we have careers we have families okay so hum ghar se bhag ke nahi gaye the we went <laughs> because we wanted to push our boundaries and see whether we can do this and boy what a time we had so we were out there we what lived was the what was the weirdest thing you've done during this trip 14 days i'm sure there were at least 14 episodes to yeah, yeah. there was a there were two or three episodes a day but uh, believe me the weirdest uh, uh, weirdest so there are so many of them so at one point um, there was this uh, you know we were all we were just driving very carefully and suddenly this uh, car comes in front of us you know and uh, because there were four women in the car they were saying acha chalo panga lete hain and uh, and we said okay what are we going to do at that time so what we did was uh, you know and the beauty of this entire tri nation thing is that it's it's a leadership journey literally you have to stay in rank you have to follow uh, the commands that have been given to you there are rules and if you stay within that within the fold you are safe so we called out to what is called the first intervention vehicle and there was a our good friend clinton who was behind the wheels and he came and saved us and there we were saying get out of the way get out of the way to the car in front of us because he kept swerving into us <laughs> so we've done some really really weird things over there and uh, you know uh, kabhi that, that's a show in itself ravi <laughs> we so wonder what we are talking about 
yeah so uh, the, my friend who's right in front is nisha bilgrami and uh, nisha is uh, she's a baker and she's a tra uh, travel blogger so she wrote a blog on this entire journey and it's there on facebook as well amazing stuff uh, there is now to the left of nisha the lady with uh, specs uh, shades is uh, anita prabhakar she's a anthroposophist i think i again messed it up uh, it's it's a, a sort of life coaching and uh, mm -hmm. she is and a healer she is absolutely amazing at what she does and right behind her is uh, my friend savita dati menon she is a clinical psychologist and uh, we together were the 4g's okay so there was there was a, another girl gang and they were two they were the 2g's and we were the 4g's and what a time we had because uh, people were a little unsure of us in the beginning for women uh, on their own kya hai seen kya hai so we would ask a lot of questions you know divorcees ho or uh, uh, husband ne allow kar diya hai and a whole bunch of things and uh, we had a quite little laugh and we said nahi yaar matlab sab theek hai bas aise hi matlab nikal gaye ghar se mujhe jaise aap aaye ho hum bhi waise hi aaye so koi problem nahi hai so it was great but by the end of the 40 days i think people really got to know us we got to know them and uh, we made some uh, we made some great connections even there and that's where conversations mattered because uh, there were we were a diverse group and we had some great conversations over there and uh, it didn't matter so the four of us just spoke to everybody and anybody and um, there was such great great connections that we made over there and i think we we in touch with most of them even now cool coming to the next picture yes ah okay which one is this aha another very very this was a mind blowing experience <clears throat> so this was mumbai and uh, i was facilitating uh, a meeting okay and uh, this was for the uh, for the association of um, uh, uh, this was for uh, me this was something somebody to do with media i can't remember exactly what it was and we were putting together an association and i had the who's who in the room with me as you can see and uh, there were some amazing conversations that day sparks flew there were the energies were really high and by the end of the day it was uh, on our agenda to get at least the vision and the mission statement for that particular engagement up in place so that i think um, uh, i have never had to work harder than i did at that particular meeting more than anything else just to make sure that every voice was heard every opinion was listened to and we still got the job done so absolutely amazing and i think i my confidence grew in leaps and bounds that particular day because um, we i had some real heavy guns in the room that day so it was good fun next one uh, picture says it all so i am sure this is after the workshop yes this is after the workshop and uh, yeah this is this is yet another very funny story so this is um, this was supposed to be a program for cii iwn which is essentially the women's network mm -hmm. but as you can see there are lots of men in there because they decided why why will girls have all the fun we are coming too so uh, this is a particular uh, piece that i do it's called uh, unleash unleash the inner child so again they uh, they get into groups and they work on certain self limiting beliefs and again they use the power of uh, music art um, you know you, you name it poetry drama to shatter those limiting beliefs and leave it right there in the room so this is after the workshop and uh, i think uh, you know the, the men wanted to just carry on they said you know what we want to come for every iwn meeting after this so uh, it's lots and lots of fun and yes so this is what my workshops normally look like participants are all there and when we finish we are like on a high dikh rahe hain matlab 
all energies, yes, all yes. smiles. That, yes. You know, if you, if you enjoy what you do, oh, you have found this. Okay. So, I think all the participants, next participants are like getting prepared. You know, they're like going through all their own photographs. So yes. I think Ravi is talking their photographs and, you know, pulling up uh, some random photographs. Yeah, Which please. Bit, uh, I don't mind. Just go right ahead. So this is um, every mother's, I think, most, uh, most one of the most special days in my life. So this is University of Warwick and... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, my that's my son Aditya and uh, this is his graduation ceremony he uh, graduated from the University of Warwick as a uh, master's in automotive engineering and uh, you know this was it's a number of firsts my first child getting uh, you know graduating uh, and here we are all dressed up and this is our first family holiday in London after, uh, I think, almost four or five years we'd all got together. This was five years ago, four or five years ago. Okay. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, Ravi, this has bittersweet memories because by this time, my husband was already unwell. Okay. So mm -hmm. London is when he had, uh, you know, this particular trip. When we had gone, he had already started feeling a little out of sorts. And uh, it went from bad to worse. And though this has some great memories, but there are some, some memories which are not, yeah, 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 which kind of, you know, uh, bring up uh, bring up a big lump in my throat as well. But, um, you know, typically as uh, what we have learned is the past is the past. Focus on what the good that happened. So now when I look at it, I just see, uh, you know, the three of us together. So my daughter somewhere there in the background also. But uh, one of the happiest days of my life, my son graduating. So I'll, I'll never forget that day. Okay. And okay, one little uh, funny uh, thing. So they, the way we were dressed, they thought we were some Maharaja Maharani. Okay, <laughs> because, yeah, because I was wearing jewelry. Yeah, yeah. And it was uh, I think yes. that, that's not common. So... Was that a sweater? No, no, no. Uh, that's a that's a lace blouse, please. Okay, I'm sorry. Looking, yeah, <laughs> very bad, Ravi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah. the next picture actually uh, calls for an invitation that you party hard with your friends too, just not with workshops. Ah, so, yeah. oh yes oh yes these are good old hyderabad times oh my god how i miss these times so right in front there is uh you know the gentleman who is crouching he is mm -hmm. uh he's our friend uh lulu who uh gathered would gather us all together and take us to these real fun places these you know places we normally would not go to and uh, we would party there and you will not believe it i got a call from him uh, my husband got a call from him just uh, before we were starting this show he okay. uh, uh wo cm madam se ka, hai? so <laughs> that's lulu and uh, hyderabad has such fond memories for me uh ki, you know it, it was all fun and it's so accepting as uh you know as, as a society uh, all the people that you see i'm in touch with each and every one of them and uh, yes we all work hard they're all uh, professionals business people they're doctors uh, you know uh, and, but each and every person works hard but parties harder and uh, that's that's what my hyderabad is all about Awesome. So yeah, that was about pictures. Now let's get on to some rapid fire questions because we want oh, to. Oh. I mean, pictures may itne pata chal gaya ki you know yeah. your personality and everything has come out. So right. yeah, the first question. Yes. Your office. How should it look like? You know, you 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 are more of like more of pictures with memories which we have seen, or you like greener space like what's behind me. Pictures with memories, like a vision board. Okay, so 
let's go back to those wo purane din those 70s yeah. and 80s so few memories from those days your school days and your college days okay so school was in delhi uh, mm. school days my group of uh, mad group of friends who i'm still in touch with seven or eight of us we call ourselves the originals one or two of them are there on the, on the show, on the show i think listening in as well kya din the wo we were wild okay we were school prefects and head boy and head girl but we were you know we thought ourselves to be the a team and no thought no end of ourselves kin kya din the we would we were so strongly bonded we studied hard we stayed together and uh, we were absolutely inseparable aur hum uh, school bunk karke picture dekhne bhi jaate the wow oh ha wo bhi kiya hua hai and uh, come to college <laughs> college aamir ke liye aamir ke liye mein kaun the hero इंग्लिश टाइप के थे मैड मैक्स देखने स्कूल गैंग हैड मोटर बाइक्स तो हम लोग मोटर बाइक पे चढ़ के काफी घूमते थे एंड वी वुड Uh, holy holy was one time we would all go absolutely mad but you know uh, what was always there was this uh, you were always protected they took care of you until date they take care of us so wo sari choices you know wo sari galiyan waliyan hum logo ko unhone ne sikhaya hai just to so that we know what to expect and how to take care of ourselves and um, it just felt so good and um, भांग एज वेल सो सब उन्हीं के साथ हुआ है कम फ्रॉम अ वेरी वेरी लिबरल फैमिली एंड सो आर एंटायर फैमिली एक्सटेंड माई फादर साइड वी आर six girls six daughters okay sab ek se badhkar ek and uh, we are uh, uh, you know so so if we were all very we were uh, our parents uh, unhi ke sath humne maza kiya hai you know so bhang papa ne pilaya tha and ha i remember i couldn't stop laughing and uh, that was it and then i said okay enough aur kabhi nahi ise to dur se hi <laughs> Stories <laughs> around, you know. I am personally one person who really loves Bhang, and you know, uh, because it it's mixed with Holi, and uh, you know, uh, I I believe that those sal, I mean, one year me one bar, your yeah. brain needs a break. Right. So, yeah, baki ye alcohol and all that, kuch bhi, you know, that that like alternative. But Bhang is one yeah. thing. Which you definitely need anybody who is working professional in leadership role. and need that break uh, at least once in a year theek hai ravi i will definitely invite you to co-facilitate the next uh, off site with me for our senior <laughs> leaders and uh, we will see what we can do about that <laughs> sure any, any weird bhang stories so weird bhang stories mere khud ke nahi hai but uh, <laughs> uh, but i have a very weird bhang story to the same bhang story so this was the first uh, uh first holy after we got married so again hmm. my dad and his colleagues had made this real potent bhang and given it to us and beta and uh, beti and damad and blah 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 and uh, that particular uh, afternoon i remember uh, unfortunately my husband was called in for a corporate meeting uh, and we were in uh, gurgaon and uh, dlf and he had to go to a cp for that meeting and there was no getting out of it because uh, the foreign team had arrived and uh, i mean we were we were bang so coffee pilaya or ye kiya wo kiya karke he had a bag got dressed and everything and then he drove okay so he got there and uh, he finished the meeting and then he came back so we all asked him that you know what was the experience like so he said listen i don't know whether i'm going to go back to work or not from tomorrow 
आई डोंट नो वेदर आई हैव माय जॉब और नॉट बिकॉज जाते वक्त तो लग रहा था गाड़ी उड़ रही थी सो आई वुड द कार वुड कीप गोइंग अप एंड आई वुड कीप रिंग इट डाउन द कार वुड कीप गोइंग अप आई वुड कीप रिंग इट डाउन एंड देन एज आई एंटर द मीटिंग आई थॉट आई वाज एब्सोल्युटली ऑन पॉइंट एंड लिसनिंग but apparently there was a time lag of 1 hour between the questions that were asked to me and the answers that came so i said okay so i remember that entire uh, night we spent praying to all the gods that we knew ki bhagwan bacha lijiye especially to uh, shiv ji ki you know beda paar kara dijiye aapka prasad hai aap aaj ka yes now it's up to you aap you take care of us please but uh, i guess uh, you know uh, the, the 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 swiss guys were very very sporting and they understood what it was all about and technically it was a holiday so you can't blame him for that <laughs> so that's the real that that's quite our bhang story we, we talk about it to our children and uh, uh, you know we've not not done anything as close to that ever again <laughs> i have couple of bhang episodes but i generally yeah. prefer doing that while we're sitting and having a chai or a beer hmm. so that you know <laughs> yes yes absolutely sounds like a plan huh yeah <laughs> next question uh this is good so have you ever enjoyed sitting in front of a lake oh yes oh yes mm-hmm. uh again this was scotland and uh i think this was <clears throat> the same uh, the same graduation journey uh, mm-hmm. we did we did a road trip uh, we drove from uh, from london to scotland and uh, uh, funny that you bring it up so uh, again as i had already mentioned my husband was not doing very well through that entire trip and he was coming in and out of uh, of who he was at that particular lake when we were all just sitting there admiring the water and just uh, you know enjoying this you know what scotland lakes are like mm-hmm. so i can't remember exactly which one this was but we walked right down to the water and we just sat there the four of us and for a while we just took in the you know the, the serenity of the place it was so beautiful um and we just we just sat there we didn't talk much uh, then then you know we took a couple of pictures over there and uh, it was it was really beautiful really beautiful and uh, and and that's one of the you know one of the good memories of that particular trip cool next question torn jeans how long you have used and what all types of torn jeans have you used uh okay so i don't like torn jeans okay so okay. Uh, i yeah, tried yeah. to be cool and i wore one pair of torn jeans for a while but mujhe acche nahi lagte you know i i like my clothes all one piece so i guess I, the cool cool question mera thoda kam ho gaya hai but mujhe nahi acche lagte that much so rip jeans kuch hota you know we had acid wash and this and that so my mother would say something very uh, funny that you know agar ye sab karna hi hai to why you why do you buy such expensive things you know mujhe de do main us pe acid mark fear deti hu aur you know far deti hu so that you know you 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 just do your bit but please you know kapde to theek se pehna karo <laughs> so well, that's how it is not your a big first, fad yeah your first girl watch girl watch hmm girl wala watch that pink yeah. lot of butterflies lot of hearts around acha so uh, ravi sorry to disappoint you main bahut boring hu so mm. i never had a girl watch okay i had a very nice uh, watch that was presented to me again by my father but um, mm. um I, wo girly wale cheeze you know we because we are a g- family of girls uh, or hamara you know we are uh, you know girls and boys brought up very equally to wo sab hamara was not there you know जैसे थे वैसे ही थे टॉम बॉयज थे यू नो वेरी हार्ड गो गेटर्स सो पिंक्स एंड वो सब नहीं था सारे कलर पहनो एंड जस्ट यू नो जो अच्छा लगे वो करो सो सॉरी टू डिस बट गर्ल वॉच नहीं है तो टेडी बेयर बारबी उसके भी एक्सेस थे या वो भी 
टेडी बेस बहुत थे बारबीज नहीं थे टेडी बेस बहुत थे अभी भी हैं आई स्टिल लव माय सॉफ्ट टॉयज तो टेडी बेस तो हैं एंड आई थिंक दैट इज समथिंग माय डॉटर हैज इनहेरिटेड एज वेल शी लाइक्स हर टेडी बेस टू सो टेडी बेस तो हैं एंड वी 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 लव हर यू नो आई स्टिल एंजॉय गेटिंग एन ओकेजनल सॉफ्ट टॉय नाइस सो आई नो व्हाट हैज टू बी ट्रेनिंग यस the badges you had during your school days you know they, they were like these badges not only uh, the monitor wala badge or leader wala badge but you had a lot of badges with symbols which we used to carry on us or you know or on the bag acha like uh, okay so hamare time pe tha war and peace wala so that war thing you know that round one with that uh, with the yeah. so wo tha then um, i think i had a lot of smileys and uh, again and uh, I had पता नहीं evil eye एक था I remember blue evil eye which I had on my bag so not too many of them but this is this is what uh, what I had and uh, at uh, that point if you remember हमारे time पे ना by the way I go back many many years so हमारे okay. time पे ना उतने badges नहीं होते थे okay <laughs> so we had yeah we used to write on our bags okay so we used to write on our bags write on our uniforms and uh, so i had a lot of messages which were written on my bag and uh, and i remember uh, there this evil eye which was there for sure but there was a good trend of bags those days you know there, there was this yeah. uh, bag which was like canvas very hard then yeah. rain proof bag aaya tha jisme wo same canvas tha baad mein andar se there was a layer of uh, yeah, plastic, plastic. yes yes लेकिन अंदर से पील ऑफ करो इट वुड मेक दैट मच ऑफ अ डिफरेंस बिकॉज you know people uh, you couldn't see the inside so they would say it's okay you know that's fine you know you just go on with it <laughs> Yeah, we we lost your video. Can you refresh your uh, page, Moshimi? Okay, one minute. Does yeah. anybody have these memories from those eighties, uh, nineties, where you had this canvas bag with plastic inside? I mean, bag was like that, plastic was put on it, and you know that that wasn't lasting for a long time. So she's back. I'm back. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Next question. Yes. What is that one product you would refuse to promote? Uh, fairness creams. Okay. Okay. Because I don't even get me started on them. I think uh, you know, for men, women, or whatever it is, are there? There's a fair and handsome now as well, not just fair and lovely. I think if there is one thing that is a confidence. Uh, breaker and i mean it just cards you for life literally it's a fairness cream so i would never promote it never ever so uh, do you believe in fortune cookies and uh, you know wo school ke din mein and you know college days you had this fortune cookies and you know most accessible one was uh, this weighing machine abhi bhi the matlab they were still available like last 5 years so what was your expectation matlab kabhi use kiya tha what was the funniest thing you received the card mein jo which was like very obvious but us din mein it it mattered a lot so uh, the next person you meet will change your life wow right <laughs> ha so it is always about the next person and when you meet that one person and that person hasn't changed your life are abhi next person is to come so i uh, yes uh, horoscopes and fortune cookies and uh, not to forget uh, linda goodman okay the, mm. the the you know various zodiac signs we in our time we were major believers of that agar uh, you know even if you wanted to um, you know boyfriend banana hai to for pehle you have to see whether the zodiac matches or not otherwise it's not going to happen so plain so same and uh, zodiac ye do ikkatte yes. hoge yes yes so uh, you know uh, the next person is going to change your life so chaliye wait kar rahe hain abhi bhi <laughs> change is always good abhi bhi wait kar rahe hain why not <laughs> one lives on hope 
So you believe in uh, you know tarot reading, astrology? Abhi, I mean now. Uh, at this present point in time, uh, I'm extremely spiritual. So not to say that I really I believe in um, I believe in the higher power. I believe in the higher consciousness, and mm. uh, I believe that the universe is multifaceted. And if you really want something, and you really you know tell the universe, and you put in the work, it will come to you. So I believe in the power of the universe, but um, not in tarot <laughs> that much. Even I, I believe in the universe very lot. I mean, yeah. time is. Uh, Ravi, I lost you there in the middle. I can't hear you, Ravi. Okay. Uh, I couldn't hear the last question. Yeah. Wasn't a question. So I was basically asking. Uh, can you hear me okay now? Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah. So I was saying that I was also asking the universe uh, when I was having this conversation with you, saying that Moshmi should come to the show. Moshmi should come to the show. So I was doing that, and you know, there you are. Deco, you you know, you should have asked for something else. There's so much. You are such a powerful manifester. I mean, you should have just asked me, and I would have come there. Job करने की जरूरत ही नहीं थी. Use your power is to manifest other things. See, Kunga, see, Kunga. So, thank you. That was a nice discussion. So, I mean, thanks for spontaneously asking. I mean, answering these rapid fire questions. It is. It is. I mean, some of these are inspirational stories, and when we go through your profile, you know, these are like lovely, and you know, people would love to, uh, especially women, would love to live your life. So. Super great. So, final question: What would you focus yeah. on if you become the chief minister for four years, and you have a minute to answer your areas you would focus on? Okay, so I better make it really quick. So now, the minute um, I take over the portfolio, what I will do is handpick a core team of millennials. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I have some in mind already. And once we've done that, we are together going to. Uh, uh, we are together going to. Uh, no, 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 I was just saying me. Yeah, please. <laughs> me yeah, yeah. Millennial, millennial. Okay, and then yeah. So th this part might just work for you. So we might uh, once we've got our uh, core team together, we will uh, handpick an inclusive team, which is going to be diverse, which is going to have subject matter experts. and who would have the uh, you know they would have the liberty to choose their own portfolios because it needs to come and link with their sense of purpose and we are going to use the design thinking framework which hmm. starts with empathy at the beginning of uh, the analysis we're going to use empathy and try and meet the unmet need of our uh, end users which is essentially the citizens and uh, once we have done that that's going to take some time because we're going to ensure that we do enough research we truly understand connect with the masses and listen to them once again we build on conversations because only then can we ideate and can we define the problem can we ideate can we test it with a prototype so it's extremely important for us because uh, we want to fail fast whatever happens get the worst ideas out of the way so that you're left with the cream uh that aspect that i'm going to focus on personally is revamping the education system because mm -hmm. uh wrote out experiential in with lots of play so that's going to be it along with that we're going to focus and make emotional intelligence a part of the syllabus because if you are self aware and you are uh, you are able to manage yourself you mm -hmm. are going to be in a great mental space so mental Uh, health is another aspect we're going to really, really focus on. And uh, while we work on that, there are three things that are it's going to be absolutely non-negotiable on our agenda, and that is for mm -hmm. every single citizen. That are the first thing would be get up in the morning and make your bed. The first thing you do is make your bed. Okay. The second thing is you. start the day and you end the day by writing down three things that you are you're going to be grateful for 
three things in the morning, three things in the evening. And the last but not the least, 10 minutes of dancing every single day, like nobody is watching you. So wow. that's my agenda. That's the manifest. Superb. I, I think very unique. It's the first time somebody has said this. So good one. I, I think, you know, uh, yeah, it has to be a structured format. You know, I love the way you're bringing in your workshop skills to, you know, driving uh, governance uh, for India. And apart from that, you know, uh, for individuals, I think it makes sense. Ask kya kya hai, you know, desh ke liye, uh, you know, what, what is that you've contributed for your family or, you know, what is that you've learned today that you're better than yesterday. So I, I think it's really nice. And that's the reason you have compliments coming in. So Runa Gangoli. That's my it. mom. That's my wow. mom. Namaste, <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, you know, uh, she's uh, she i think she was the most excited and uh, i'm so happy that she's here and uh, another very feisty old lady and look how tech savvy she is she's joined in and she's she's it's contributing amazing. loving it <laughs> yes Super. so yeah. thanks Marjorie. you know thanks for joining in uh, you know uh, it makes a lot of difference for people like you personalities like you joining this particular show because you are not only you know talking about yourself you are also inspiring other women to drive things you are also inspiring others that this is the way of life you know live the life you know calm karte rahenge there are a lot of professions we are into wo chalta rahega but don't forget to live life so awesome profile i really loved it i'm just waiting to meet you and have that party together so, absolutely yeah so, Sergi, I hope I have permission so your husband is watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's there. He's, he's logged in too. Uh, thank you, Ravi. It's been absolutely amazing uh, talking to you. And, uh, you know, this is what it is all about, you know. And I really thank you for giving me this opportunity. And, uh, you know, to everybody out there, thank you for listening in and reach out to me. Uh, we can, we're always, I'm always open for a conversation, you know, it's never a bad time. So thank you. And uh, I will keep listening into your show. Thank you for having me on it. Thank you, Moshimi. Friends, again, another inspiring story. So I'll share the link uh, to connect with Moshimi and her workshops and her photographs. So sometimes you don't have to attend the workshop after workshop or before workshop pictures are enough to watch <laughs> out for. So yeah, do do follow her. You know some inspiring stories, some life mantras uh, to you know observe and you know relish. Thank you. Have a great evening. Enjoy your Friday. It's awesome weather in Hyderabad. Just to let you know, it's raining. It's awesome. Okay. It's it's week. just about forty yeah. degrees here. Not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> so you're definitely gonna miss your friends from Hyderabad and Hyderabad weather. We are gonna enjoy here. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you.